Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Canon SureShot Ace. That was its name in the U.S. It was the Prima Shot in Europe and the Auto Boy Prisma in Japan. It was introduced in 1988. This one isn't, but there's a date-time version as well. Canon says this is the first camera that came with a wireless remote. And it's built into the side here. What looks like it would be your uh, rewind button is the infrared remote release. Kind of cool. It's active infrared autofocus. The emitters and detectors are here on either side of the viewfinder lens. It does do a focus lock. You do a half press and the green light, do that again. Green light lights up solid when it's got the focus lock. The green light will flash if you're too close. And too close is 0.96 meters or under, about 3.1 feet. Um, the lens uh, aperture goes from f3.5 to f32. It's three elements in three groups. And the shutter is the same blade mechanism as the aperture. And the shutter is not spectacular. It goes from a 40th of a second to one 125th of a second. Flash is automatic if using this little sensor uh, to the side of the taking lens. So if it thinks it's too dark, it's going to flash. There are no flash controls whatsoever. Um, it's guide number 9 meters at ISO 100. So for being a little point and shoot, uh, the flash power at least is pretty good. It reads DX encoded film from 50 to 1600. If you're outside that range or you're using an unmarked canister, um, it'll set ISO to 100. This little recess button on the top is a 10 second self timer. Pull the remote back off here. Uh, it's an infrared remote, and when it senses that it's off, this little flash tells you that it's talking to the remote. And you press this red button, and you get a uh, two-second delay, and then it sh uh, fires the shutter. The remote's good for five meters, about 16 and a half feet. And if you're, they say if your subject is backlit, meaning if there's bright sunlight coming into the receiver on the body, it may not work. So I think it's just that the ambient light over, uh, overpowers the infrared signal from the remote. One thing that's really cool, it has what they call an easy viewer. It's a waist level finder and it's actually big enough. You can get it pretty low and see through it. So that's one of the nicer waist level finders I've seen. The one on the Fotura, it's cool that it's there, but it's really a little too small to use at waist level. The only other one that I've seen that uh, is this good or better is on the Yashica uh, T series, like the T4 Super that I used to have. It uses a 2CR5 6 volt lithium battery, and I'm not crazy about those batteries. They're expensive, a lot of plastic in them, but Anyway, it powers everything in the camera, and you got to have it in the camera. It does have, the camera does have, um, this strange little, and I can never get it to go, this strange little tilting foot. So if you're using a remote or a self-timer, or you don't have a tripod and level isn't quite good enough, it's got this little tilty foot on the bottom. Film transport, it's auto-load. You just put the strip to this orange kind of film icon here. Close, make sure it's flat and engaging these gears. And it's auto load, auto wind, auto rewind. There is no mid roll rewind. So this is a strange mix of innovation and cool features and really simple things that are missing. Um, it's got the remote, that's really cool. The foot, kind of meh, but it's nice and it's there. The waist level uh, viewer is nice. 
But then they omitted things like mid-roll rewind, flash. I mean, even if it didn't cycle through, you know, flash, uh, always on, always off, red eye or anything like that, just a flash disable would be nice. Um, no control whatsoever. So it's kind of a bizarre hodgepodge of, hey, we added these nifty features to, I guess, to meet their price point. Hey, we have to take out some features. But at any rate, it's fun to shoot with. Um, I did a blog post. I'll put the link down below because it had film in it when I bought it. I think the battery had gone dead. This guy is a little power hungry. So if you got one, make sure that you have a fresh 2CR5 battery in it. So I'm going to uh, process and knock out some more of these videos. And I will see you then.